Hello Gamer here and I have got myself an HD PVR2 Gaming Edition for New Year's Eve and I had a heck of a lot of trouble putting it up, setting it up to my PlayStation 3. So what I want to do is I want to help you guys set it up for those of you having trouble setting it up. Now this setup is only for P PS3 so for those of you having trouble with Xbox 360, find another video. So I will help you guys set it up step by step according to the guide and also for those of you who have set it up and are having trouble having the image pop up on your TV only black screen I believe that's what I got in. I fixed the problem and then I skip ahead I will provide the time it should be right in there in the corner skip to the skip ahead and you will see how to fix that problem so I got in the HD PVR let's see what comes with it it's not an unboxing video because I already unboxed it. it comes with a nice fancy little box with whatever game that is, which I want now, looks damn cool. With it comes, of course, the HD PBR, which is a nice little plastic bag. I will open it later. Comes with two HDMI cables, but I believe this is only for 360, so for PlayStation users, don't worry about it. I still left it in my little bag. It comes with nice, giant cord with a whole bunch of colors. Lots and lots of colors, which is called an AV... I believe an AV, no not an AV, PS3 components video output, something like that. Also comes with, this is the AV, this is the AV multi out for the HD PVR, again with lots and lots of colors. Another you're going to get is the USB cable. I really need a second person to help me record this because this is tough. This is for your laptop and, and the HD PVR. It's to record, or either that or for it to see. Anyway, moving on, you will also have the power cable. How are you supposed to turn on the HD PBR without power to it? This is the power cable. I really need a second hand. Okay, you get with you get out the disc. Whoa, let it focus. Focus. It's not focusing. Anyway, you're gonna get a green disc. This is to install. Oh, there it is. Now it's focused. You're gonna get a green disc to install the program to record it. Should come with it. If not, you're pretty much screwed. It also comes with a game manual and a nice little Rin, I don't know, apology letter for something. I didn't read it, so ignore that. Anyway, I'm going to be going step by step by the manual. So for those of you having trouble, but following the manual, it's pretty damn hard to understand. So I'm going to provide visual and audio aid. Let's begin with step one. Step one is to connect the HD PVR cables, meaning you're going to need the USB connector and a laptop and or computer. I'm going to use a laptop, so first things I'm going to take out my HD PVR out of its fancy schmancy box. Get out of there. And you're going to have to want to find the back. The back, whoa, the back. The USB cable goes into this one, the long, long nose while the USB goes into your laptop. So, find a nice little USB, long, and stick it in there until you feel that you have reached, until you have reached at least the back or until you feel it can't go any further. Now that it's in there, that's what she said, you're gonna wanna plug this into your computer and or laptop. Now, they're joined together forever. All right, moving on to step two. Step 2 requires you to plug in all these colorful wires into your PS3 and the HD PVR. The Step 2 also requires you to have an HDMI cable plugged into that. However, I'm going to leave that for last because that will make a lot of things a lot easier. So first things first. Let's find this big chunk of metal. And we will plug it in to the back of the PS3. There should be a thing called, I um, can't see it here, but it's going to be called an HV out in something or other. It's going to be that little thing. And one more thing, I was having a problem with this not fitting because this was a little too big. Do not worry. Do not worry. Plug it in like this, and if it won't fit, just jam it a little bit harder, and it would fit. Shall fit. And if not, plug it in harder. Just don't break it. So there, it fits, just push it in a little harder if you're having trouble, because I know I did. Didn't go all the way in, but eventually it does. So once you have that in, you're going to have a nice big chunk of colorful, colorful K2 
cables linking up to absolutely nowhere. That is where the AVI multi out comes in. Pretty much it's just matching the colors, however there's one little thing. These two with the black borders, red and white, shall match up with the ones that don't have a black border. Match the ones without to the ones that do, and vice versa. Should be simple. After you should have them all nice and color coded with the black ones touching or connecting the ones that don't, and vice versa. Then you gotta stick this nice USB cable in. There should be a button that says push. The reason it says push is because when you connect it to the HDVR, HD PVR 2, and you wanna, let's say you wanna take this off, you're gonna have to push the button and then pull it off. Otherwise, it's not gonna come out. So, plug this in into the part where it says uh, AVA, AV in, but have the push button facing downwards. Downwards. I said that like a little child. So plug it in like this. So you will have something looking like this with the push button on the bottom. And if you want to take it off, just push that button and pull. Otherwise, you're going to break it without pulling the button. Anyway, that concludes step two. Let's move on to step three. Step three is the easy part. All you gotta do is just bring power to the HD PBR. So that's simple. Take your nice little electronic doohickey. Doohickey. That's weird. I never noticed that. Ah, there's a grip here. Never noticed that. But anyway, plug it into an electric outlet. And then have this plugged in to the part where it says, or it doesn't say, just that. Plug that into there and plug the electrical outlet into an electrical outlet. And you should have it working. If you plugged it in, it should be blinking, which means right now there's nothing input, there's no input, so it's, that's okay, that is okay. Now, moving on to step four. Step four is the installation of the disc. I didn't really sh need to show you how to put a disc in, so it's simple. Step one and step two. Once you have everything plugged in as to of now, click step one and you will install the driver. It should, it should install in a couple of minutes. After you have done that, install software, which is step two. That should take about a little bit longer, let's say eight to ten minutes. After it is finished, it will ask you to reboot the computer. You can manually do it, either that or just click the button and it will reboot the computer. Once after that happens, you will get a little icon or two icons showing you this, ArcSoft Showbiz and Hapagi Personal Logo, which is pretty much a watermark maker. If you wish to make a watermark for your videos, you can use that program. So that is step four, install, and you will have everything you need. Now let's move on to step five, which is not in the manual, but I'm going to call it step five because there should be a step five. So let's figure out how the hell to record. So once you open up your little icon, I forgot what it's called already, showbiz something or other, you're going to want to go to the capture menu, or capture tab, and then have this, source is from the HD PBR, video input, you're going to want it to component YPBPR capital, audio is line in, that was all, that was all default for me, so it should be all default for you, however we have, we have nothing on the screen, and here's how to fix it, let's go to our PlayStation, Grab the controller, which is nowhere to be found. One second. There it is. Uh, picked it up. And you're going to want to do this. Go to settings. Go to display. My screen is way too bright for you to see that. Go to display. Go to video output settings. And you're going to want to go to component D terminal. Now, there's a trick to it. As soon as you click that, the video shall appear on your laptop and or computer, depending on which one, it will appear, and after it appears, you're gonna have to automatically, or not automatically, manually choose what you need. I won't, I, I'm not really good at explaining this, so I'm just gonna show you, simply. Simply put, for those of you who didn't understand my English, which is pretty bad, click on components, you're gonna wanna change it. As soon as you change it, it's gonna go black. It's gonna go black. But as soon as you do that, it should appear here any moment. 
Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. There it is. There it is. So you're gonna go. You want. You're gonna want to go to yes. And click X. Now, there's one thing about the PS3. It does not run on 1080p. So you're gonna want everything but 1080, 720, and 480. There's a little bit. Of, there's a little bit of lag, but don't worry about it. After you do that, hit X. Oh wait, actually, don't hit X. That's my bad. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. Hit the arrow button to the right, and it should do this. Click yes. And click enter again. And that is my phone vibrating. Then you should want to say... Actually, no. Let's go back to audio. Go back to audio. Audio should be, if I remember correctly, HDMI. Should be HDMI. I think. Actually, no, no, no. My bad. Audio input. That should be its audio input. Audio input. Okay. Click X. Everything is good. Click enter. Click. Click enter. Okay, there. So, it's still black, but don't panic. Here's where the HDMI cable comes in. Take it out of your PS3. Which is this one. Take it out of your PS3. Your half show. You should have no signal, but that's okay. Now, here's the cool thing. Take the HDMI cable and plug it in to the HDMI out. So I plugged it in, and now it should. There we go. There we go. That is great quality. It's on the screen, and it's on my laptop. There it is. That's it. That's the way to fix the black screen. And that is also the way to set up the HDMI PVR2. Now, if you want to record, there's a recapture key right over there. Click to capture, and it'll record. Now, if you want to feel fancy about it, which I'm not going to, you can press that little button, which will automatically start recording to your uh, PC and or laptop. Now, you, I bet you want to see the quality of this, right? You, I bet you do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record... There's a little bit of lag, but don't worry. Once you record, it's going to be perfect. I'm going to play a little Dead Island, and I'm going to show you exactly how the quality is. Now